All right, so I'm back at the junkyard. Um, trying to mock up the hood struts for the G35. The ones I picked, the studs, or both you call them, they, I don't know what size you call these, but they're not 10 mil. They won't screw into the original fender bolt location. So, um, following the forums, watching videos, um, some folks made aluminum brackets, stuff like that. So, what I found was on a uh, Acura, I forgot what model this is, I'll have to look at the back, MDX or one of them, but um, they actually come with hood struts with these brackets, which is what everybody was making online. So, I went ahead and came out here, find these. These are pretty much just bolt up this location on the G35 on the hinge and I can run my uh, bolt pin for the hood strut off of that and just need to find some 10 mil ones uh, they give a part number go to Napa I'm gonna do that uh, I think they are uh, six metric or something I can't remember the name right now but I'm gonna I'm figure it out <laughs> I don't want to be cutting anything on the G35 I just want to bolt it up put it on and boom make a nice quick video for you guys put all the part numbers in there where to find them at and so you guys can also do the same mod on your G35. Let me go to take these off and get up out of here. Alright guys, so parts from the junkyard. Alright. Bracket for the uh off of Acura MDX, I think it was, I need to double check, make sure I put it in the uh, description. The ones from the Hyundai Sonata, it has to be 05, the 06 doesn't have them. Didn't work the way I planned. It was gonna go bolt in to original fender hole, drill the second hole to put it in because then it started spinning when I had the piece on there. But because of the way it was, it wasn't sitting correctly. And just so you guys can see, I'll probably just take this off, hook it up so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. But I got you guys on a stick pod today. I'm gonna bring my actual tripod outside. So let me get set up real quick and um, show you guys what it looks like with a snout of bracket. All right, hopefully this doesn't blow over. It's kind of windy out today. Okay, how about that? Yeah, that might work. Might work. All right, so 10, 12, pop that off real quick. I'll show you guys why this, this Sonata bracket really didn't work. I got the hood prop up, so I'm gonna pop this off. <sighs> So what I did was drill second wick hole. Alright. Which you see right here. And Pivot stud to put it back in there. Maybe not. Add a bolt before. Okay. Yeah, I hope it doesn't work now, make me look at a fool, but it didn't work before. So it's like it was rubbing on something. actual fender bolt back in and add a drill a hole to the fender to thread this in there and tighten these up Out of the 
way. Touch that. Now, let me get you guys over here on the other side so you can see. I got this little weak tripod, so. And uh, I apologize for the dirty engine bay. We're in El Paso. Somebody like that asked, man, why it's so dusty? Yeah, it's the desert. All right. So. Driver. Get the hook prop out. Pop that on there. Now, it holds up, okay? But I already got a hole drilled in the fender. I don't want to put another one just to move that back. And it does close flawlessly. All right. Well, what's on there? What, what, what did I change? Oh, now I remember why I didn't use it. Exactly why. Now I remember. This is the reason why. This right here touches up here that's why i couldn't use it this needed to be on the other side and if you flip this bracket around there's no room for this to connect on the inside so the 2005 hyundai sonata brackets won't work but the acura mdx brackets do um thinking of fabricating something longer that I reach to the second um, bolt back here for the fender so it has two spots to hold on to and then possibly making it longer so it comes up where the pivot is further up because you can see the tension right here so that's what I'm running to what I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off run the auto zone I need something an inch and a half longer because currently this is where the hood sits. And if you see the Acura bracket, OEM bracket, focus, focus, is actually flexing, if you can see that. All right, so. Let me run the other zone, get a longer um, strut. I need like an inch and a half longer and come back and test it out. All right, so I just came in from AutoZone and the model numbers I went with was uh, 95918. And the other model number, which was the same length, but had a shorter distance for it to close was... Uh, nine five nine seven eight i think i have to double check but um let's test fit these see how they work and then i also got the uh supports in case i want to change the ones i got on there let's prop you guys up and see how this comes out And found my hard to more rigid bracket, the Sonata pivot piece. So I don't know if you guys the show comparison. Yeah, the camera focus. But you can the Sonata bracket is twice as thick, so I won't flex as much.
All right, guys, I'm done. Truth be told. Okay, I'm gonna link all the part numbers in the description. I'm gonna attempt to, okay? So you have Maxima coilovers, um, hood struts. You have the Maxima ones, all right? You have the bracket from the Acura MDX. We have to go back to use those, all right? On both sides. Um, I utilized the Hyundai, 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 as the Koreans say. Brighten this up for you a little bit. Too bright. Use the Hyundai bracket. So the 10 mil bolt hole for the fender. You bolt the first one in there, tighten it down, and just drill through the second hole for the Hyundai, the Sonata, Hyundai Sonata bracket to get your actual hole for the uh, pivot for the hood strut. All right, so the Acura MDX brackets up here. First bolt, first hole on the uh, stud for the hood. Another stud. Um, these, these studs came from the uh, Maxima also. So if you go to Junkyard, you want to do this. Um, O2 Acura MDX and the O2 Nissan Maxima. You need the struts, the pivot ball from the Maxima and the support bracket from the MDX. That's what you're going to need. So, moment of truth. Here we go. And that just messed up big time. Hey, can you hold this for me real quick? I think I got the settings too bright. Yeah, way too bright. Yeah. Open it up, you guys see how uh, how it goes. All right, I wanted to go higher. That's why I went and bought the one from AutoZone. But um, if I do that, I will have to drill into the fender, possibly using another type of bracket, because this won't really work. Because the shock tower is here. Either which way, it just wouldn't work. So, um, I went back using the short ones from the Maxima, and I might have deal with it. I'm a tall guy. I want my hood to be up in the air, but, you know. Also, when I'm at shows, people can walk by and look rather than It is what it is. So, appreciate you guys watching. And to another successful modification on the G35. I've talked about this for two weeks. Went to the junkyard twice. One field trip with school. Me and Jeremiah went back yesterday. And about two hours this afternoon, probably three. I had to go to the R zone. So, here it is. It works. So, I'm gonna pop it one more time for you. I need to grab my tools some other day anyway. So, guys, don't forget about merch, channel merch. All right, please. I need your support. I need you guys to share the videos. Hit that thumbs up button. When you hit subscribe, hit that bell. Get all notifications so every time a video drops, you get it. Okay. Merch, again, please, I need you guys support. $15 for shirt, shipped. 15 shipped, I mean, to me that's dirt cheap. All right, just to support the channel. We can get this thing on the road, I can park my truck, and we can put in some work on the 240. Dang, I got lost for a minute. Woo, that lack of sleep kicking in. Um, 
yeah which is what this channel it was mainly about the 240sx the sylvia the ka motor the chosen one pushing seven plus okay whatever my safe maximum range is for that turbo that's what i'm doing i'm i'm getting injectors to suit the turbo so i can push as much boost as i can so guys please merch share the videos interact leave a comment hit that like button all right and help me grow i'm gonna help you grow and i hope you guys watch this to the end because guess what somebody's gonna get this in a giveaway brand new struts cleaned up brackets a little template showing you exactly what to do and all you gotta do is watch this video this is gonna be a giveaway I just got to find out all the rules and sweepstakes stuff they do on YouTube or all that crap. But So, possibly next week, doing this as a giveaway. You want a G35 or 350Z? Could be yours. Brand new, still in the package. All right, so, you guys let me know if you like this video, what could be done better. And, all right, so, no aluminum bracket, no cutting the stock hinge, nothing. Drill an extra hole. Put that bracket up there, pop it on, you're done. You could possibly do this in like 10, 15 minutes. But I already researched it for you, R&D, so you're good. So look out for the giveaway next week. Get your merch, people. Get your merch. Thank you so much. I'm going to talk designs. Get you the next video.